like that. What have you done? What I'm have sorry, you Tony. done? I'm sorry, Tess. Hey, show them the door panels. All right, all right, all right. No other shop on the planet that if they scratch your car, they're going to make up with it with carbon door panels. Check it out. You can trade me a scratch for carbon door panels any day, bud. Any day, all right? Scratch my car today, all right, for me? I'll take some carbon door panels. Got the shoot back on old Johnny. Got a repacker though, so let's give her a... Oh, gee, man, ain't Christmas. Well, it wasn't gonna go anywhere quick with that. Look at that. Oh, rusty Johnny. Come on. Focus. This is why you got bad grades in school. You can't ever focus. There it is. Look at that, Rusty Johnson. Are you surprised? My boy Pro Mod Todd has never driven a race car. Despite having that awesome blue Nova that I took some B-roll of earlier, uh, he's never driven any type of race car ever. So we're gonna change that right now. Let's go. You ready for this? I'm a little nervous. Here, here's some sunglasses if you need to get crooked. Oh yeah, you always wear them halfway down, right? Yeah, you nailed it. Like that. <laughs> Jeez, these things are toast, bud. Yeah, bro, they probably had a wrench thrown on them a few yeah, times, you know, geez. but you can't tell on camera. You look you look good in my book. Uh, thanks, buddy. You look way taller than I do right now. Yeah. Yeah, here, there we go. Fixed it. I'll slouch a little bit for you. Yeah, you're good. All right. Well. Yeah, you just, uh, ignition's up here. Fuel pump. Fans. Water pump. So after you crack her, you're gonna turn all three of those on. Okay, so we're here. Start Just on the key. Start on, we're on. Yep, now you're gonna. Should I put a seatbelt on? I don't have one. <laughs> okay. I actually don't have okay. one over here. So we're gonna start if you then... wreck, we're both fucked this way, all right? <laughs> don't wreck. We're not gonna get stupid. No, no we're not doing anything stupid. I don't even know the area that well yet. I just uh, moved yeah. here. <laughs> oh, good. Nothing to be worried about, huh? <laughs> well, there's... Uh, yeah, just go ahead and turn it over, and you may need to give her a little on the gas. So it's here. I thought you just. Yeah, said yeah, it was that's right there. how you. No. Okay, here we go. Yeah, all right, keep these it going. Three. Keep it running. These three? Oh, oh, all the gas? Yeah, all three of those. Yeah, there you go. Good job. Alright, I'm ready when you are. Alright, so we're here. All the way down is first. All That's, the way back towards me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the way back. You're in there now. presents Real Men of Genius. Real Men of Genius. Today we salute you, Mr. Edible Underwear Maker. Mr. Edible Underwear Maker. Your true genius combined two of man's favorite things, panties and food. I can taste it now. They're a snack. They're underwear. They're a snack 
and underwear. Brilliant. A two treats in one. Gorgeous grape, rock my world raspberry, bodacious banana. Here's the situation, folks. Trying to shed some weight. This Johnny was 2,809 pounds without me in it. So uh, I'm gonna lose my door bars and my speakers in the doors. I'm gonna keep the speakers in the, in these Johnnies. Those speakers will stay, radio will stay. I'm gonna get rid of the amp and just work through it. You know, try to get as much weight out of this thing as possible. Man, I look rough, dog. Look at that. I am not sleeping well at all up here. Whew. Good game, dog. We're making progress. Now for a Fox Body door, you got some pinch welds over here. The boy's got a fancy pinch weld screw gun thing. And uh, imagine that, I haven't hurt myself, so we're doing good. Uh, this big door bar is what we're going after right here. That, that big old Johnny. So I get that out, I got this out, I can put my door panel back on. Already getting lighter, I can feel it. But it'll be better than that. All right, I'm in the shop, big brain Brad on the scales. What do you think it's gonna weigh total? I think there's 15 pounds here. I'm going to say a little bit less. I'm going to go with 10. Hey, put it in the comments. How much weight do you think we just took out of this door? Look. Survey says. All right, I just caught. Uh, all right, the first one, I had never done this before, but the second one came out a lot cleaner. Uh, just kind of had an idea of what I should be doing and what I needed to cut already. Um, but it looks like you can get 20 pounds per door. So cut your door bars, folks. Always cut your door bars. Uh, if you know what you're doing, the second one will take you 30 minutes to an hour, but the first one may take you two to three hours because you don't know what to cut. And uh, I'll try to show you what I did to mine. It's kind of how I cut my shit. Uh, you can do it how you want, but this was good enough for Jimmy. Um, I made a cut down there, cut it across the bottom, keep some rigidity, keep this hole so your this hole right here for your... Uh, you know, something. Um, then I cut right there, down yonder, and then I, I cut it pretty deep on this one because none of my tabs are still good. None of, the, none of the tabs on the door panel are still good. If you plan on, you know, want all your tabs to work, obviously you need to cut it above that, but uh, all my tabs are already gone off my door panels, so I figured I'd get as much room as possible. The other part that you're not gonna find online that people are gonna tell you is, if you're cutting the door bar out, uh, there's also these spot welds right here. But the problem is you're going to have to cut the bar in half anyways uh, to get it out of the door. It's too long to come out of the door in one piece. So you tend to cut this Johnny. You got to cut this Johnny off. And once you cut that off, then you can finagle it out of the front side of the door. Uh, but I'm about to weigh it up. We'll let you know what it comes out to. I'm going to take the amp out too. I got a stereo in this car. I got a sub and all that. And uh, the sub blew up the first day I got it. So I didn't even really ever get to use the sub. And now I'm just toting around an amp. So I think I'm gonna get rid of that. All you real stereo dudes are gonna tell me this amp wasn't ever gonna do jack anyway. So I'm gonna shed weight, get rid of her, and see how much it weighs total now. I'm. I would love to lose 100 pounds, but let's be honest, it's unrealistic. That's literally just the door bars. It's not even all the door bars. 30 pounds, 7.5 ounces, so 30 and a half pounds. And then let's throw this part, because you can't get your door bars off without these parts. Let's see what it is now. Up, oh, 37, so seven more pounds for that. All right, 40 pounds, some random wiring that was in the door and whatnot, 40.5. And then to, to make it hopefully 50, which it probably won't, but maybe. Or max the scale out ideally, right? Because the scale only goes to 50 pounds. Oh, shit. Forty-five pounds, 
1.8 ounce. All right, there we go. Weight reduction complete. We knocked off 45 pounds, 2.1 ounces. Right out of magic. Thanks for your help, buddy. Oh, you're welcome. Appreciate you. All right, Jimmy made it to Kentucky. I'm bringing the sauce, baby. Check them out. Bringing the sauce. I just left the Airbnb. It smelled like a Hallmark and a Hobby Lobby had a baby, and it was triplets, and they did it right there in the... Turn left up the stage. They smell like assisted living. It smelled like Depends and Denture Cream. I said there wasn't jelly bellies in every room. Who lives here? Nixon? Give you one thing, Kentucky is real pretty. I'll give you all that. It's gorgeous out here. Y'all got a bunch of trees, bunch of hills, bunch of creeks, bunch of cracks. Definitely a bunch of mess, but you know, that's not my problem. Uh, yeah, nice place, I dig it. You know what kind of church y'all got going on out here? It's interesting. Talk about one way to get more people to go to church, right there. If for some reason your cover is blown and the terrorists take you prisoner, well, you'll probably want to take your own life. Here, you'd better have this. All right, team, that's it. We've got a job to do. Let's go police the world! America! America! We're all sitting here. This guy says, hey, man, what's, what's your name? Up, man? And my name is Aaron. I'm with Whipple Weekly, actually. Whipple Weekly. Aaron with Whipple Weekly said, hey, man, you want to drive my car? What kind of car you got? Shelby GT500 2021. Of course I want to drive your car. Let's go. All right. Hear about this? Let's do this, dude. I need to hear you say I'm sure about I'm this. I'm sure about this. Okay, Send cool. Send it. Check it out, GT500. It's gonna have a Cobra. Probably move the seat too far. Look at that. This thing sounds sick. Are you sure about this? A thousand percent. Let's do this. Okay, okay. Look, it doesn't even have a shifter thing. It's got one of these goggles. Oh, it's got ice cold AC. We should probably turn that off for now. This thing's only got 9,000 miles on it. Quiet mode. Track. Oh. oh. Sport. Oh, drag strip. Track use only. Line lock. Launch control. Oh, you're, you're trying something here. Look at him go. Good? Send it. Alright, this guy has signed his life away because I think it's a good idea, so we're gonna try it. Go for it.
Would you just look at it? Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's nice and shiny. Well, it's a 78. Yeah, it's looking good. Looks really good. Yeah, it's got original paint, too. I mean, yeah. People that owned this thing before me must have put the thing away in its Long Island, New York garage every day of its life. Oh, go figure. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Got it for 700 bucks. Yeah, it's real clean. Uh, you can work on it. It's every, The things are not packed real Right, right, together. right, right. You know, when I see a car like this, first thing I do is I say, would you look at this? You know what I mean? Yeah, sure. boy keeps kicking me off the starting line. I got something for him. Been saving this puppy for a special occasion. Sir, I'm gonna need you to take two steps back. Keep it gangster, dog. Keep it gangster, dog. 